Hey everyone, and welcome to some gameplay of The Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes. I am Ice some Times, and in this episode, we are going to be looking at the gameplay from the treehouse and also doing a little bit of a analyzation of this gameplay to see what is in store for us when this game is released. So as you can tell, there's actually three people playing this right now, and on the bottom of the screen, there is a lot of emoticons that you can use, like no, you can throw someone, you can also use an item, and a lot of other things. And also, there is a magic meter gauge, just like in A Link Between Worlds, that you can use all of your items at once. There's no, like, huge stockpile of anything, it's just the magic meter that shows up and drains itself once it uses something up from its well, weapons, so that's pretty cool. So as you can see, most of these guys are right next to each other and they're trying to figure out a way to get past this place. So what they're gonna do is just break away all of these balloons and then what they can do is climb up on top of each other and then they will be able to hit an arrow right over to that balloon and slash it with their sword or something like that, which is pretty cool. It's a really ingenious trick to do to get keys and open up new doors. So. Just like every other Zelda game, there is keys, so that's really good to know. And just like in Four Swords, you have to carry it around on your head, so that is hilarious. <laughs> well, with that, they actually completed this level, so uh, once they go over past this little door, they can go over and uh, check out the Triforce, which is the end of the level in this game, which is pretty cool. All three of the players have to go on, on it at once so or it won't actually charge so that means each person has a different uh, piece of the triforce triforce core courage power and the wisdom so yeah it's pretty sick so they're in the second part now of the forest the forest number two and now they have to traverse the forest even more deeply and there's a switch for three of the links to step on and that actually causes some random guys to appear the slimes from a uh, freaking uh, link to the past and a link between worlds are here as well so i'm pretty sure this is the same time period as a link between worlds and a link to the past because of those guys are in this game so it should go along with the timeline pretty swelly great so there we go uh, they destroyed those guys, and now more of these guys will appear and kill them even more. Oh, dear God. So, as you guys can probably tell already, the hearts actually count towards the entire team. So, if one of your teammates dies, your entire team dies. So, you have to be very wary about your hearts at all times, which is a very important thing. So, they destroyed all of those enemies, and now they have to figure out a way to get past the store, which, holy crap, it opened suddenly for no reason. So, uh... Let's move on, and we can proceed on to the end of the level, which it didn't take that long to beat. It was just like one little room with a lot of enemies inside of it, so no worries whatsoever. But as you can probably tell, we do have the Pegasus Boots in this game, which is pretty fantastic. I really love that item in all of these Zelda games, and it really makes for a quick, uh, speedy recovery once you're trying to fight something. So we... Well, they just actually finished off with that level, and they can move on to the next one, which has a spiraling tunnel and bottomless pits so just like every other Zelda game you can see that there's platforms that will spin around floating like they have no gravity whatsoever and you can see they're doing the uh, nice little three headbutt attack again <laughs> with which they just freaking try to stand up on top of this on on everybody and then just shoot everybody again so uh, in this level they have to uh, hit four of those orbs open up the door and they died but luckily they did have a fairy so they can move on again, which fairies in this game are just lives. Um, they don't really do much besides show you how, how many more you have until you have a game over, which is like in every other Zelda game, but I'm pretty sure this one, the, like, like, you, like you really don't have a bottle or, or anything, so it's kind of confusing about that point. But uh, So in this point they have to stand on each other and just shoot the arrows at the little orb things, and they're already dying pretty quickly this time, so... Uh, they're not kind of the best at this game, so whatever, but, uh, let's move across again. Hopefully, if they ever do something like that. <laughs> it, you know, so sometimes it's really hard to, uh, try to figure out where someone's going in a game, or trying to see, uh, how well they, uh, use their gameplay and, uh, show it in the video, but... With that, they hit the orb again, very nice, and that'll open up the door to the end of the level once again, which... There's only one more level in the forest, so here we go. They're going right over, and they're going to throw everybody off. Well, nope. They were nice. Hmm. Never mind. Bye. <laughs> 
See you later, bro. Have a wonderful day, Green. Link, the main Link died. Well, that is not good. That is definitely not good. So there they go. And now they're versing off against the last level of the game. Well, of the, of the forest, which is going to be the boss. And this boss is going to be a very, 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 very slimy and very electric choo-choo. Oh, dear God, here it is. Look at this thing. That is so huge. So just like every other Zelda game, you can have a, a freaking boss battle after every dungeon. There's no really uh, point to uh, trying to figure out what's up with that. It's basically common knowledge at this point. You can see that they just have to freaking kill this guy right in the heart. So I'm pretty sure this will just be like uh, Majora's Mask where they have like some kind of like weak point that is really, really obvious to the player. And they just have to hit that like a million times. Not three like every other Zelda game, but they already killed it. So, well, no, they didn't. No, they did not. And now they have to do the thing that, that, that they just learned by jumping on top of each other and shooting them this guy right in the head once more with their boomerang. Their boomerang of bows. Because boomerangs are not actually a bow and arrow, which is a very, very good weapon. And with that, they have completed the forest. So I am really, really hyped for this game now, guys. Holy cow, this looks like a very fun game to play with friends. And if you guys are as well, please leave a like down below in the video. <laughs> and uh, I will see you all in the next gameplay video of this amazing game. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.